Bluehost.com. It's brutal, sometimes bloody, and wildly popular. It's mixed martial arts, uh, MMA for short, and it can be very lucrative if you're a man. Yeah, but if you're a woman, uh, not so much. It's actually a very different story. So why would any woman climb into the octagon, into this cage, for all-out combat for what amounts to almost nothing? Well, our Amber Lyon uh, follows along a young single mother who wanted to find the answer to that very question. Now, a warning to you, some of the images are pretty graphic. Killed, and not afraid to be sexy. In an exploding sport dominated by men, these female fighters fight for much more than a win. They want respect. Why do you fight? It's very empowering. It's the hardest sport out there. There's nothing that you can do to test your limits more than MMA. Michelle Gutierrez is a pro MMA fighter. That's mixed martial arts. A full combat sport. We're talking two fighters in a cage, no pads. Once banned across much of the U.S., today MMA is one of the fastest growing sports among men and women. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Good Welcome to, to Throwdown. You. Thank you. So this is your home away from home? This huh? is. This is my house. A house Michelle spends up to 40 hours a weekend. Pumping iron training from boxing and various forms of martial arts I'm about to get my ass kicked <laughs> to wrestling this is called a triangle my foot over hook this oh geez yeah I feel that and then squeeze my uh, leg and so your goal in this is to um choke me I want you to pass out and I just oh, kind of yeah. pull that way and you're choking and tap there we go <laughs> okay but when Michelle isn't spending 40 hours a week practicing takedowns, she's spending another 40 hours pouring drinks because the sport she loves doesn't pay anywhere near enough to support the single mother. Do you make more money bartending or fighting? Bartending. Bartending. Wow. As slow as it is in here right now, I make more money in two days than I walked home with for my last fight when I was split open like a watermelon. And Michelle isn't kidding. By some accounts, her last fight was one of the bloodiest in women's MMA history. She grabbed my braid. I had my hair braided like I always do. And she grabbed it and she kneed me in the face. And then she cut me open right here and she hit an artery. So it was bleeding like all over the place. So they had to stop it due to blood. When I see it, it makes me sick a little bit, but in other ways, it's beautiful, like almost like a warrior shot. You know, that's me. I fought. I would have continued on fighting if the referee would have let me. I wouldn't have been like, well, I'm bleeding. I would have continued on. So I thought that that was kind of a beautiful picture. Some people would say that... Some people it's... were repulsed by it. It is hard to watch at times, which begs the question, why would you do this for nothing? Even Michelle's late mother didn't understand at first. My mom, she cringe and, oh, God, you're so pretty. You know, why are you doing this to yourself? But Michelle's mother did eventually come around. She started to accept it a little bit and was giving me kind of like her approval, you know, like you're the only person in the family that has a dream and I want you to do it. I feel like when she died, a little flip switched in my head and I just went all MMA. Five, six, this is unreal. And it is this raw brutality that may pose one of the greatest hurdles to women's MMA. According to insiders like fighter Kim Couture. There's a lot of guys that we come across that just don't like it. They just don't want to see it. It's really hard for them to watch. But is it repulsion or exposure that's really keeping these women from the big paydays? The Ultimate Fighting Championship, or UFC, is the world's biggest mixed martial arts league. It's got the largest crowds, purses, and sponsors, but it's a boys club, no women. Dana White is the founder of the UFC, and he has been criticized for his decision to exclude women, especially after this TMZ video went viral last year. When are we gonna see women in the uh, UFC, man? Never. Never? Never. <laughs> 
Dana declined our request for an interview on this story, but he did recently speak with CNN about female fighters. And he defended his refusal to include women in the UFC this way. The problem is right now about girls fighting in the UFC, there aren't enough good women to create an entire division. But Michelle and other female fighters we spoke with aren't buying that argument. Every promoter almost, other than the UFC, has at least one female fight on the card. So that goes to show a lot. That so almost everyone but the UFC yeah, is like allowed every to card fight. on the undercard, there's a girl on the fight. There's a lot of girls in the main event. And to be fair, Michelle's point isn't completely lost on the president of the UFC. As the sport continues to grow in popularity and more and more people start taking martial arts, uh, you know, it's inevitable. You're going to see a lot of women competing. But for now, for Michelle, it's still a question of slinging drinks, scraping by, and fighting for nothing more than respect. Living on that dream that someday soon she'll punch her way to the top tier of the MMA and what that would mean for her and fighter girls everywhere. It would mean not having to work at a bar. It would mean just being able to train and be a true professional athlete. It would be huge. It would mean everything to us girls. You know, this next story that we have is also one of perseverance. Coming up, Kiss Inc. How Kiss the Band is making tons of money from Kiss the